What's going on guys? My name is Bill and this is Tool Tech Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, I like to bring you guys a tool that I've been using in my videos or that I've been using on projects in and around my garage. So recently, I've been working on this like top secret woodworking project. And some of the pieces have got, got some curves to them. And those curves, you know, those pieces need to mate up to other pieces. So those curves really got to match. And when they're cut out with a bandsaw, jigsaw, whatever the case may be, it's hard to get those curves exactly the same. Sometimes you might get a little, a little whoop in the, in the cut. You know, it's hard to get, it's hard to get everything just cut out exactly the same when you're cutting out by hand. So, you know, that's where drum sanders like these come in handy. You can get attachments to chuck these up in a drill and that'll work. You know, then you got to either clamp your piece down or you're trying to manipulate the drill and maybe manipulate the piece at the same time. It's hard to get a good, consistent, even sanding and to knock down some of those high points so those pieces can mate up perfectly. So what do you do? So I've been thinking about getting a spindle sander. Again, that's where one of these chucks into and it, you know, mounts to your bench and it turns the drum and this thing goes up and down. Then you can just hold the piece and sand some of those some of those curves they chuck in different size sanding attachments so you can get into some tighter curves and they work really well the problem is i've gotten along up to this point never needing a spindle sander and for this project i don't know if i can really justify spending 150 160 200 dollars on the spindle sander plus they're big they're bulky they take up a lot of bench space and then when they're not used, you got to find some place to put them. And in a small workshop, that can be an issue. That's when I found this. What I've got here is a spindle sander that I was kind of hesitant to buy until I got it home and tried it. This is a Wen portable, they say handheld spindle sander. Now I'd be kind of hesitant to try to work this thing by hand, but this thing is made utilizing two of these L bolts. This thing can come in here and you clamp this thing. I've got the bolt a little too tight still. This thing clamps right down to your workbench. Now again, this is made by Wen, and this is uh, model number HA5932. Um, like I said, this thing, they say is a handheld, portable spindle sander. Again, I don't know if I'd try the handheld, but this thing just mounts right to your bench and allows you to work your piece pretty easily around a spindle sander. Now it does have a dust extraction port. I haven't used it. I still got to try that out. Um, and it utilizes different size, these little rubber pieces that mount to the shaft here. So you can utilize different size drums. So you can go like that, take your sander, and then you just screw it down. You can go everything down to, what's that small one? There it is. This size here mounts right to the, the shaft coming out of there. Again, clamp it down and you're ready to, ready to go. So I tried this thing out already. This thing works really good. I was kind of concerned about the small table, um, but for a handheld piece for what I was working on, this is more than enough. I really thought this was gonna be like really unstable and it's not, I was surprised. Um, for the cost. I mean, instead of spending, like I said, 150, 160, this thing comes in at like 50 bucks. So again, you know, when, it's, when I'm not using it, I can, I unbolt it from my bench and I can put it in a drawer. I can hang it on pegboard. I can put it away up on a shelf somewhere and it doesn't take up a lot of space. Now I've read some comments on these things, some of the reviews and people we're kind of complaining that it uses like an odd size uh, sanding drum. It's a three inch sander. 
Whereas a lot of spindle sanders, I guess, use a four and a half inch. But, like I have small ones like this that are meant to go on to a drum that mounts in a drill. So, you know, you can get these and they fit right on. You know, Harbor Freight sells a pack of, of these sanders, replacement discs, replacement drums that you could probably pick up because um, it uses pretty common diameter size drums. It's just the length is three inches instead of the, I guess, four and a half with a regular spindle sander or a bench top spindle sander. But if you look at like this spindle here that I was using, you only use a very small, a very small, a very small area of the available disc. Like I was sanding three quarter inch um, yellow heart. And even with the oscillation, it only uses, you know, this much drum. So even with a smaller one, I could run those. You just have a lot of extra space above it. Or you can get the four and a half inch ones and cut them down or not. I probably would cut those in half. I might even like cut this one in half because, you know, as this, as you're using it and this bottom area, you're only using like the bottom fifth of it, maybe gets worn. Flip it over. Now you use the other side. And if you cut it in half, now you've got basically four discs to use. Again, because you're only using a very small area. So like I said, overall, for 50 bucks-ish, depending on where you get it, this thing is really good. They said it clamps right to the workbench. It's got a little rubber pad that comes with it to kind of help secure it, to help it keep it from slipping. Um, it feels like, I'm gonna tighten this down here. It feels like it would want to, like it wants to rock a little bit, but honestly, I didn't, when I was using it, didn't really find that being an issue. And I thought it was gonna to wanna to like slide off the bench, even though it's clamped to it. It does slide a little bit. I could tighten it down even more, but when you're using it, you know, all your, all your, pressure is here not that you're putting a whole lot of pressure on it but you're working on the top you're not really putting any lateral motion in it so it hasn't been an issue yet um i may see if i can find a way to maybe attach it to my t-track on my workbench maybe um i also thought about maybe making a larger table for the top if need be but like i said this thing wasn't as unstable as I thought it was going to be. It wasn't unstable at all, actually. It actually works really, really good. I'd even be tempted to maybe swap these out for some maybe metal sanding discs, and maybe be able to use this for some welding projects. Maybe. I might have to try that out and do a follow-up video on this. But yeah, guys, this when benchtop, handheld, spindle sander, it's actually really good. And for the cost and the size, this is really good. Really highly recommend it. Appreciate you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, get back to work.